Hi, hi. Nice to see you all. Is anybody out there? <laughs> I hope you can see me. So let's see if everything is working here. So I'm not pretty sure if I'm online. Ah, oh, no, I see a few people are joining the live. How are you doing, guys? I hope you are okay. How are you doing? Very crazy times at the moment, right? Yeah, I had to impulse to go live here on TikTok too. You know, I'm not a native speaker. I'm still in training. And let's see what's coming through. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about the current energies. What to expect in September 2022. We talk a little bit about the great solar flash, what I feel. I will tune a little bit into the collective. So what's going on with the masses, what's going on with the collective and how to navigate the storm. Because I know many, many star seeds, they are struggling at the moment. Um, I know many star seeds are completely confused. They don't know what to believe anymore. I know these times are very exhausting right now. And I think it's very important to stand together and that we finally unite. So nice to see you, Sissy. Hi, Patricia. Nice to see you all. Yeah, so at first, what's going on right now? Um, I spoke about it many times on TikTok or on Instagram as well, that the energy on Earth is actually increasing very strongly at the moment. And yeah, I feel there's much healing and purging going on again. So you will see is we have always this up and downs. So don't be surprised when you feel very good and one day later you feel horrible. You have always this up and downs. Because at one hand, it's a timeline battle, which is taking place behind the scenes. On the other hand, the energy of the sun is increasing. Maybe you observe the same. So many people, they uh, see the same that even the sun color of the sun changed. And I saw a German video, a German TikTok video in which even people which are, don't know that something is changing, recognize that something changed with the sun. It was a German video, actually it was just about the, the spraying on the sky, right? They spoke about the spraying on the sky, but they observed the same. It's like, uh, did you notice that the sun color of the sun has changed? The, the sun color is more silver and the sun is lighter now. <laughs> it was a German video and I, I saw it and that was very, very interesting to see that even people which are I'm not aware of that, already recognize <laughs> the sun color of the sun has changed. So, and I feel this process will continue. Um, with each day, imagine the energy from the central sun is coming down. Many people speak about the great solar flash as well. Especially when you watch some videos on YouTube, there are many people seers, ET contactees, which are talking about the great solar flash and what to expect. And I personally feel that this process will continue. I see the same with each day. It's like the sunlight is getting brighter and imagine as more light is coming down as more shadows are coming up as well. That's why you have always this, ooh, this shift in which you feel very good. Wow. Yeah, so much lovely and high frequent codes are coming down and then one day later oh, you felt very horrible because it's always both so this means when the light is increasing the darkness is rising as well not just in the world yeah you see the global chaos that the chaos is increasing and growing as well even inside of us as well and finally just to find balance and this is what i feel about the energies right now and I feel this process will continue. I feel that uh, Atom 2022, Winter 2022, 2023 will be very important. And I must talk a little bit more about this because it's a long, long story. You know, I'm a seer and I had visions in, it was May, I think, 2020, as the sea thing started, also in Germany. And suddenly I had visions of the year Atom 2022, suddenly. And I saw pictures and visions from the future in Germany, what will happen in Germany. 
and it seems like that not everything comes real, because you must know timelines are always changing. What I saw was, yeah, I had this vision in May 2020, for autumn 2022 already, and I saw actually a lockdown, a second one or a very big one. Then I saw many people were out of the streets. They were very angry, super angry, and they started to destroy um, shops and markets because we had a lockdown and the people had almost no money. This vision plopped up already in May 2020. And when you are in Europe, or I think it's a global process now that the prices are exploding. I heard about it in Australia, in Germany, in Europe, in the USA, that the prices for food, for fuel, for electricity is exploding. And you see that many people are getting angry here in Germany as well, a little bit, <laughs> they get a little bit angry. And um, I feel this winter will be important because I feel the people and the collective, they are standing now at the end of a road and they must finally make a decision now. They must um, give us a sign what and how to continue, how. It's like it's them. When they continue on this level, it's like then they give this um, signal out to the dark ones, okay, then we continue. We can go on with our plan. And I felt this year is important because I had this vision already in, in May 2020 and I felt, yeah, winter 2023 will be important. So I have no clue what will happen. I'm very careful with future predictions because it seems like that we don't have a lockdown in Germany. They talk about the climate lockdown, maybe. We don't know. But that's what I saw already. And I see this, that many people are getting angry here. And it seems to me like, it's just my feeling, that the government provokes it. They provoke them. Yeah, that people are angry and that they go out of the streets. That's what I feel. They try to, ah, come out, come out, come out. The people are getting very angry. Yeah, that they can call the military or whatever. That's what I feel. And something else is about to happen. So, I mean, many people spoke about this. So when you tune into the prophecies of Alois Ilmaier, you know, he was, I think, German. And he spoke about it that actually he said the same, that this year will be important. But I feel that his prophecies about Alois Ilmaier are also outdated. That's what I see. It's also not um, coming for 100%. So you see, timelines are always changing. And it seems like, as mentioned, that my vision I had in May 2020 is not coming true for 100%. But what I feel is the collective must make a choice. It's them now. And we can't help. We are just here to reclaim our power. You as a starseed, you as a light warrior, you as a light worker. I know it's very confusing for you, for me as well, especially when you see how your beloved suffer and you see the solution, you try to help them, but you see you can't help because every being, every soul on this planet is in their own process, is in their own field of experience and we can't help everyone. And this is what we must see as well. But what we can do is we star seeds. I can repeat myself over and over again. I feel actually we have a lot of time now. We have a lot of time to reclaim our power. We have a lot of time to help each other. Because there are so many star seeds out there, they even don't know that they are star seeds at the moment. And it's like slowly we are going back to our true power and more and more we realize who we are. It's like we are waking up from a deep, 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 deep sleep. Not just the collective, even we. That's why so many of you are so, so confused. Thank you so, so much for your lovely um, gifts. You are so amazing. <laughs> it's so funny because, you know, I go online on Instagram <laughs> and it's always so interesting to see the different vibes. <laughs> the energy of TikTok live is totally different as on Instagram, totally different. <laughs> but it's also fun to speak to you. Hi, Green, nice to see you. 
Yeah, and I thought actually we have a lot of time now. We can inspire and support each other. And I highly recommend do this. We can't help the collective. You see it. Yeah, you see it. I see it too. So it's like you, you, you even can talk to them. It's like you are in a totally other timeline now. And your soul already decided. I feel the most of the souls already decided which way they go. That's why it's like, uh, yeah, you try to talk to them, but cognitive dissonance, right? You, they, they already made a decision and they must go through their own process. They must see it. The awakening will not come until the people see it. <laughs> so, and I know that sounds sad, right? But what we can do is we must reclaim our power, live every moment and see. There are so many illusions here. <laughs> we have so many illusions here, even for our star seeds, right? That's why so many of you are confused. It's like, holy shit, I'm not sure. Is it a good entity? Is it a bad entity? Oh gosh, is it a hologram? Is it a blue beam hologram? Is it a true one? Is it a false one? Yeah, when you observe uh, YouTubers, they speak about it more, right? It's like, oh, the Galactic Federation of Light. Oh, these are just holograms. So this is just a psyop. They are not true. Oh, but they are the true Galactic Federation of Light. They are the true ones and the false ones. And what's about Ashtar Shiren? Who is him? You know, you see, uh, even this confusion in the spiritual community. Yeah, you see it. It's like uh, you don't know what to believe anymore. And I can tell you something. The easiest way to stay centered and to navigate the storm is your heart. The heart is basic for 5D. In the Majan, we ascend from within. It doesn't mean that we teleport now <laughs> up to 5D Tower Earth. <laughs> because 5D Tower Earth looks totally different. It's 5D. It's the fifth dimension. So, <laughs> so who knows <laughs> what will happen in the future. But at the moment, we are here. <laughs> so, and the easiest tool to ascend is here. It's your heart. So this means stay centered here. Trust your heart always and stay connected to the prime creator. When all this is confusing you, oh gosh, is Ashtar Shirin a psyop or not? Is he good? Is he bad? Is he a hologram? Oh, the Galactic Federation of Light. Oh my gosh, maybe the Galactic Federation of Worlds. Are these the good ones, the bad guys, the real ones, the false ones, you know? <laughs> what is about Metatron? Is he good? Is he bad? You know? <laughs> So this is happening with us right now. It's like we all are waking up from a very, very deep sleep. And at the end, you will see it's all just illusion. <laughs> when you know me from my YouTube channel, I spoke about it many times <laughs> that we stayed in a very interesting dimension last year in 2021. Yes, I saw it. I saw Ashta Shirin there standing before us. Yes, it was all just holographic. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> not more, <laughs> and it's all just illusion. And when you see it from this perspective, oh, yeah, it's actually just about to remember who am I and that I reclaim my power back. Oh, okay, so when it's all just illusion, okay, so then you can't take it so seriously anymore. And this is actually the true ascension that you see through the illusions, that you shine light onto them. That's it. This is the way of ascension. This is the way of reconnecting to source. And don't be afraid of seeing the illusions or the shadows because they all help you see it as a game. It's just a game. That's why we have light and darkness here, because without the darkness, you will never understand who you are. You will never understand that you are light. And I talk about the true light. Not about the false light, <laughs> because we had so many false light teachings, yes? And all these teachings, distortions, illusions are just helping us to wake up. That we remember who we are, that we go back to source. So and this is our process now, and I highly recommend support each other, help each other, inspire each other. There are so many starseeds out there, they feel, yeah, they, they're slowly waking up as well but they don't know what's going on. So don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to do a TikTok live video, even when you are not a native speaker like me. So do it. Trust your heart, trust your intuition, because this is all you have. It's just your heart. It's just the moment you have. 
So, and then you make your experiences and then you learn something. So that's it. It's super simple. And you know, the intent is the key. It's always your intent, not so much the labor. Your heart speaks a lot. And this is what makes you beautiful. This makes you a very powerful soul. When you stay centered here, and this is basic for New Earth, it's our heart. And even the darkness, all these illusions, they just play their part here. The same. Shine light onto them. Love. I speak about true love and not false light love, you know. There is a big difference. And I can share this with you. I saw a little bit, yeah, what's happening. Because we stayed in 4D last year physically. And I saw it. I saw uh, these false light traps as well, like the Galactic Federation of Light or Ashtashirin. This is just, just holographic, yeah. So, but when your experience is, hey, um, I feel a connection to these holograms. So please do it, because I truly believe when you go through this, when you see through it, when you go through these experiences, and finally you realize, oops, all these beings. They leaded me off from my soul path. They just leaded me into the illusion and not back to my heart. Sooner or later, your soul will realize and your soul will see it. And when you went through this process, then you shine light onto this. And then you can detach from all these false entities if you want. And it's just helping you to reconnect to source. And imagine it's the same with the collective, but just in their own process. So everyone is in other state of consciousness so and this is what i can tell you this is what i feel the current process for us truthers light workers star seeds that we just remember our mission now who are you what is your gift what makes you truly happy how can you serve us i mean at the moment the collective is going through their own process and finally they realize something is off with the government <laughs> It's like we are all waking up from a very, very deep sleep. And you know, maybe you went through this process already to see, oosh, there is so much more going on. And I yeah, saw the rabbit hole. So, you know, everyone is in another state of consciousness and you just can inspire people which are open-minded for your visions and for your messages. And we star seeds, we can help each other now. It's like we help each other now to remember who are you? And you can do the same. Look at me. I'm not a native speaker. I don't wear any makeup, you know, <laughs> the same. So why not do it when your heart tells you to do so? So let's see. I see there are a few people here in the house. You're so amazing. Thank you. We are part of the original source energy. It's up to us how to use our energy and healing. Of course, it's always your intent. It is, you know, it's not that complicated. I mean, yes, at one hand, it's complicated. <laughs> As we saw 4D last year, and I saw these holograms and all this um, false, false grids and cubes and <laughs> so on, which were installed around Earth, right? Um, but hey, it's, it's just about to open your heart, see through the eyes of a child. I feel this teaching is true. <laughs> when you see through the eyes of a child, with much purity and it, you see it through it and imagine what's also happening is you strengthen um, the bond between you and your higher self. Higher self embodiment is also very important I feel for us. That's why many of you receive more and more and more visions. So who are you as your higher self? Maybe you have a lot of astral projections and now finally you see who you are in galactic dimensions. Maybe you begin to see your cosmic self and imagine this is not your past because everything is happening in this right moment. So this means when you talk about past lives, it's always happening right now because past now and future, it's just illusion because everything is happening now. So this means when you start to see your higher self, then you can tune into it. Who are you in the cosmic dimensions? You as a starseed. 
you have a mission. <laughs> Why did you say yes to Earth? <laughs> Why? So when you finally see your cosmic self, then you understand your abilities. And the funny thing is, <laughs> that's what I feel for us. We embody our higher selves more and more and more and more and more through the ascension. It's like we are guided back to our cosmic self, to our true self, to our higher self. And that's funny. It's amazing. Yeah. And maybe then you see yourself and see what you do in higher dimensions. What's your ability? Who are you? And that's super simple because many people got this question. Yeah, that sounds interesting. But how can I reconnect to my higher self? I truly believe that's the same with, as I told you, right? Um, with um, the false light entities, how to uh, discern false light extraterrestrials, I feel it's the same. When your soul is ready, then you will see through it. Because, you know, I have so many visions of the future. Today I had a situation with a soul brother. It was like deja vu. Yeah, I sent him some messages and then I remembered, oh shit, I had already a lucid dream about this. For two months ago, I saw that we are in contact today. And then I saw the text messages was like, oh fuck, I had a lucid dream about this for two months ago. <laughs> so this means even when we believe here, we control it, we don't. It's just the illusion <laughs> that we believe we control it, but actually it's always your heart. It's like you become just more aware of this game here and you become more aware of your soul. And that's so beautiful. So when you finally remember your cosmic self and you see your abilities, it will come to you when your heart is ready. So when I look back to my childhood, you know, I had not an easy life. And even last year, that was crazy. So I just can tell you that everything came to me when my soul was ready. When the pupil is ready, the teacher will appear, right? And it happened always on this level. The same with my twin, Flame Marcel, the same. I never manifested my twin flame or that I imagined, visualized him or that I searched up for him or whatever. It came to me, to Marcel, the same. We were both guided as our souls were ready. And this is also the new way of manifestation. Many old programs, yeah, I must speak about programs because these were false light programs. One of these, um, this is just what I saw last year in 4D, was the karma program. The karma, 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 <laughs> the karma, <laughs> the karma program worked. It worked, especially when you believed it's true, but it was actually just the illusion. And it's just rooted in that you feel guilt. The entire matrix is built on the innocent. Yeah, I'm innocent. I'm the good guy or the bad guy program. <laughs> so this means you were bad in the last incarnation. Next time something bad is happening to you. And this happened when your soul left. Yeah. And then finally you entered the astro. And the most of the souls here, they saw just the astro. This cube, yeah, by the dark entities was so powerful. It was a powerful grid, which they installed. And we had this grid after the fall of Atlantis already. It has begun. I had visions about the fall of Atlantis for, I think, three years ago. But I'm not sure if it's true. I have very strange visions. So, and then I saw this energetic cube. And that pulled us into an artificial matrix created by the dark extraterrestrials, if you want. And... All these programs are just rooted in um, innocent yeah, uh, and guilt. You are guilt. There is just guilt and, you know, but that's not true because source loves you unconditional. This is the Christ consciousness. You see through all these illusions, you see through all these cubes and um, illusions, but you are love and you just observe. This is, in my opinion, true love. True love doesn't need any words because you are love. In every moment you are love. Even when you are angry, you are love as well. Don't be afraid to express anger or hate. It's like you are in a new cage, right? New age, new cage. 
the new cage is that you start to limit yourself or that you say, oh, I don't express anger because it's a low vibration, right? Oh, I'm afraid of express anger now because oh, then I decrease my frequency, you know? This is the cage. And this is what I saw, the false light. <laughs> the false light teachings, for example, that we never break free, right? And source loves you. And what's happening is that all these programs and these old teachings, yeah, which just translated the astral, it never went higher, <laughs> never to the source and never back to the divine matrix, just the astral. This is all dissolving now. So this means the karma program is not working anymore. Maybe you observed it too. You have a negative thought, for example. And in I remember for many years ago when I had just a negative thought, then something bad happened to me. <laughs> so then a, a very aggressive citizen crossed my way and looked very uh, aggressive to me or said something bad to me. Because all these laws we had, they just were able to understand your head. Just your head. Yeah, the, uh, I just understand your head, your mind, your thoughts, not more. But your heart is the key. And now we create from our heart. Even the law of attraction, yeah, this is also one of these teachings, worked. It was like you visualize it, you imagine it. Yeah, you send the wish out to the universe. Please, universe, help me, you know, hear your thought. And then it worked. It worked. Then very good things happen to you or bad things happen to you. And then we told each other, ah, this just happens to you because you uh, were not positive. You had very negative thoughts. That was true because it was all rooted here. But the way to manifest now is changing. And this is what you feel as well. And I observed it by my own. I see so clearly now, if I made a decision from my old programs, I mean the old matrix here, here, <laughs> or from my heart. When I made a choice from my heart, when I must manifest it from my heart, then it feels totally different. And it's like many things are coming together. It's all flowing. It's not always complicated and horrible and stressful when you manifest from your heart. This is also a way to embody your higher self. <laughs> so manifest from your heart and trust these little impulses. And this feels totally different as you create with your spiritual ego. It's totally different. And when it's happening, you know, we are all in training, then something very horrible is happening. And it's like one thing to the next, zack, 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 zack. It's just horrible. It's just horrible. It's like, oh gosh, this dark circumstances. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, because this choice I made was not from my heart, it's from my head. <laughs> and then it's helping us to remember. It, it's your heart. It's, it's so simple. We were born with this connection. So be inspired by children. They do the same. And then you discern spiritually. It's super easy. Trust always the first feeling you have. Does your heart opening or does it close? So when you feel you want to make a choice and you tune into it, what will happen? The first body reaction speaks truth. When you have a good feeling, you feel your heart is expanding and you feel the joy, you feel excited, then you can be sure it's the message from your soul, from your higher self and from source. So your heart is the connection to source. It's, it's your heart. Super simple. When you feel not good, when your body reacts, when you feel how your light is, is dimming, you feel not good or your heart is hurting or whatever, don't do it. Because you will feel it so clearly now if you manifest it from your heart or from your head. And these old programs are all dissolving now. And this is the ascension. It's like we don't see it, but we feel it. I can share with you more programs. <laughs> Not just law of attraction or the karma program is dissolving. So many more programs. But at the end, it's about to clean and heal yourself from all these old matrix beliefs. And I mean, the matrix is not evil per se, it's needed. But I speak about the divine matrix. I speak about the ancient grids we had around Earth. And I had visions of Atlantis because it already happened there, what I saw, um, that the Dracos arrived 
at Atlantis, and they landed in the sea, and it was a very toxic ship. It was totally other technology, and it was an eye mixed up with fuel. It was very strange. It was not good, and I remember how the ship landed in the sea, and then all the strakos and dinosaurs as well. They came out of this ship, and they catched all the grit workers first. What I saw, yeah, they catched me too, because I know who am I <laughs> in higher dimensions. So they catched me too, and all the other priests and priestesses and kings and queens, because they wanted to install their grit around Earth. It's all about grit work at the moment, and this is what you feel too. And what they do is they use their grids, their codes, their symbols. Yeah, they work all with symbols, with codes, with cubes, um, to taking over Earth. And this is the secret war. It's not just what you can see. It's like on many different layers and levels. It is the same chaos. <laughs> and imagine when you stay centered here in your heart. You help us all to anchor the divine codes on Earth, and this is why so many of you are here now, basically, because so many star seeds of you, you had an incarnation in Atlantis, you had an incarnation in Lemuria, you had an incarnation in 5D Tara Earth. Many of you were grid workers, ancient grid workers, and you just anchored. The ancient codes here in this dimension and this grid were so powerful. I remember as they arrived on Atlantis, actually it was impossible, because we priests and priestess we always created grids, and this grid was so powerful it was almost impossible. But I just remember they tried it. They just saw their chance and they tried it. So even when they die, but they tried it, they were always after Earth. Because Earth and 5D Tara Earth, just what I saw last year, was one of the most beautiful planets in the universe. That's why so many galactic sisters and brothers they all wanted to live here, <laughs> because Earth was beautiful, the most beautiful planet. And I just know that Earth holds an important key. It's very important. It's like Earth is a gatekeeper for the universe, for real.、Um, and they are in contact with many different others. Cosmic sisters and brothers too, and through this grid they installed. It was a cube. Yeah, cubes are not good, by the way. <laughs> It's like now you are in a cage. So it was almost impossible, even for our star seeds, to talk to our true galactic sisters and brothers, and they needed so much time to understand how these grids are working, because these grids, yeah, the Antichrist program as well, or、um, more stuff. <laughs> So it was all against Christ, against、um, the divine feminine, against the divine masculine. So in our cosmic team, they had no clue how these grids are working, because it was、uh, like a new universe. It's like what the heck is this? <laughs> That was also a reason why it was not so easy to interact with our cosmic team too, because they needed so much time to decode. These grids to understand what's going on here. So I don't know if this makes sense, yeah. But this is the background story. What's happening right now? And when you stay centered here in your heart, it starts with these little things. Trust the first impulses you have. When you make a decision, what is your heart telling you? Is it a good feeling or a bad feeling? Do you feel happy, excited, or do you feel <gasps> like this? When you have a feeling like this, trust this and don't do it, because your soul receives information before your mind get it, and the entire AI matrix or this cube matrix, whatever, but a dark extraterrestrial was designed just to stay here. You don't feel you have a soul or intuition. It's just your mind, just your mind, right? And when you Remember, when you awake, then you will see there's always a voice speaking to you. Always, this divine voice speaks to us in every moment, in every second. So, and try as best as you can to reclaim your power and trust your heart. And imagine, as more as you listen to your heart, when you trust these little impulses again, 
the source will work through you and the source is coming back that's why the energy of the sun is changing because i feel this cube matrix is crumbling it's collapsing that's why if you want light from the true sun is coming down now the sun we had was not the real light of the sun it was just a distorted light if you want because i saw that the dark ETs they really controlled everything here they even controlled the sun and the sunlight and the sun color that's why the sun color is changing since 2021 maybe that's the reason why we marcel my twin flame and a few other star seeds were walking around in 4d so i still have no clue why we were there for real my soul knows but my head not <laughs> my mind doesn't understand <laughs> i think it's better <laughs> secrets <laughs> no but since then the sunlight is changing that's what i observed and then i just saw and felt how this cube is collapsing now these old grids that's why i feel these are codes from the source now and now it's actually so simple to channel. And now so many star seeds are afraid to channel. But actually it was more complicated before <laughs> to figure out, oh, is it a psyop? Is it a hologram? Is it a blue beam entity or whatever? But now it's so easy. It's so much more easy as before. And now so many star seeds are confused <laughs> because the entire matrix here is collapsing as well. <laughs> I mean the old matrix, right? It's all collapsing and now we are so confused. <laughs> we don't know. Is it true? Is it wrong? But actually it's so simple now. It's more simple as it was before. <laughs> so the easiest way to channel is your heart. The heart is for real the key for almost everything. And this is actually all what you must know for the ascension and to navigate the storm as well. So when your heart tells you, oh, it feels not good here. I have the feeling that something bad will happen soon here. Move. When your heart tells you. When it's for real here, here, your heart, then Source speaks to you. And the Source just loves us. The Source loves everyone. Source is unconditional love. And it's not dividing us. Yeah, and this is what the dark extraterrestrials try as well. They try to divide us. Even in the spiritual community. They try to divide us that now we are in a battle too because we see through these illusions more and more and through these cubes it's like uh, you know but this is this is not um i feel not our work and that's not our consciousness that we are dividing each other as well that we call each other oh he's a false prophet he's a true yes even it, it is so and you see the intent by them it's just about the intent it's just about the heart so discern, see that they all play just their part here in this game. Because without them, when people go in resonance with them, just the example, and you see it, oh gosh, yeah, this being sold his soul. It's not true, for example. And you see the darkness behind them. At one hand, have compassion. Just observe the matrix as best as you can and see that really everything, even when we don't get it here, really everything is guided and people which are going in resonance with this false light teachings people prophets or whatever it means they learn something from a higher perspective their souls learning to discern now and sooner or later yeah when they finally open the heart when they finally see that all these teachings leading them into nothingness yeah, these are the false light teachings. It leads you into nothingness. It's like you feel empty inside because this is the feeling of the dark ones. They feel empty inside. There is no soul inside, nothing. They feel empty. So, and then you feel the same way. You feel empty inside of you and it's always the same circumstances. Then they will realize what it was. They just remember them to go back to the source, <laughs> back to the heart, and they all just play a game. This is my biggest advice for you, because sometimes it makes me a little bit sad to see this division in the spiritual community now. And I mean, 
It's important that we finally see through it more and more. But I think it will not bring us together. Because we star seeds, we must help each other now. And it's always your heart, you know, and we are all in this game. And see it more from the Prime Creator. Because the Prime Creator loves all. The Prime Creator is never punishing you for something. Or is blaming you. Or tells you you are bad. Now you must um, experience something bad as well. This is not what the Source does. This is what the cube, yeah, the artificial matrix we had told you so when you finally left your body that there were some holograms which told you oh you were not good in the last incarnation i think you must go back to earth <laughs> that's what i saw there too and it does exist a few people they speak about this yeah many souls just saw the astro they saw just 4d that was the dimension in we were last year and yeah, there were some dead people in 4D. They lived in their houses and the lights were on. It, it was so crazy there. Um, and they didn't realize that they are already dead. And they stayed in these houses, but the lights were on and they acted like oh, they, still, they still live here on Earth. And it was just the astro. And they prepared them to go back to Earth, to 3D, back. Okay. That's what I saw, and that was actually the true cage. <laughs> yeah, and it was just about to trust always your heart. Because source never blames you. The source never tells you you are stupid <laughs> or whatever. Never. The source just loves you. And loves also these beings which sold their soul, which disconnect from souls, which have no soul. The source even loves AI and all these NPCs walking around here and the soulless clones. <laughs> the actors, right? <laughs> we have so many soulless clones here walking around <laughs> as well. So, and this is just the game, okay? That's why we are here. And, you know, when I have astral projections, so many extraterrestrials, they all want to go down here. They all want to go down here to Earth. I mean, okay, from above, it looks a little bit different. <laughs> the most of the extras uh, believe Earth is just a funny place. <laughs> they just laugh and they think, oh, it's just fun here. <laughs> you laugh and oh, everything is just okay here. So many of them, they even don't know what's going on here <laughs> because they think, oh, Earth looks so beautiful. It's just a funny place. And then I told them many times, guys, it's not just fun here on Earth. And then they were a little bit surprised. But they all want to go down to earth. <laughs> so this means you can be very grateful to be here because you sent yourself here or maybe someone sent you here for a mission. And the mission, you just can find it by yourself. No one can tell you for sure what it is. But when you open your heart, you know. And this is, I feel, this is 5D. That's 5D Tower Earth. That's 5D Consciousness that you know all the answers are here in your heart and you start to manifest from within, from your heart, from trust and not from fear, from love, not from fear or shame or guilt or you are afraid to don't have any money. That's the survival consciousness. So and it's not about this anymore. Even when you see that the system collapses, yeah, and I feel it will collapse. But I don't know what will come, honestly. It feels like my soul knows, but I don't know. <laughs> because I was allowed to see a lot last year. Yeah, and I don't want to say too much about this. I don't know what will happen when I speak about the White Hats, for example. Or when I speak about the Earth Alliance. When I talk about Mr. T and so on. It's important that we reclaim our power and that we don't wait for them. Don't wait for a savior to come. But I saw a little bit <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> but I don't know if this is true. You know, it was 4D and 4D is very complicated because it's the astro. It's like there is so much happening there. <laughs> so many beings and entities are coming down into 4D. It's like, oh gosh, it's more confusing as this dimension here. <laughs> And it was controlled fully by AI, guys, 4D. It was just 
blue beam holographic or iconic um, entities, not more. So that's why I can tell you, yeah, lighter days are coming. That's why so many of us are here. So, but I don't know how long this would take. I don't know what the collective will do because it seems like the collective, they, they don't have any inspiration. But I feel they don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. That's why they follow the old paradigm, because this is what they learned. And when you saw what I saw, because I understand many truth for starseeds and light workers, they call them sheeps, right? Ah, these sheeps, they will never wake up. Ah, it's better they die or whatever, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the truth was, <laughs> yeah, it's better they die. This, this sheeps, you know? But these were no sheeps. Do you know why they always reacted on this level? And they just did what the government told them without saying no or to speak up or to stand up. Do you know why? But I'm not sure if this is true. That's what I saw in 4D last year. Because the dark extraterrestrials, they have taken over everything. And when the people would stand up before this what's happening right now, they would kill them. Oh, because... We had um, the laws from, I tried to explain that. These were the laws of Egypt, you know, the pyramid, this. Um, and it was the empire of the Dracos and the Anunnaki. And they controlled Earth for 100%. So when they saw that these people don't do what they want, they would erase them from existence and these souls always felt it when they speak up they will die maybe they will create new humans which are working more for them okay and this is the dark timeline by them and this is what they try now before people are finally waking up they must be very fast this is what you see one drama uh, message news after the next is like uh, what the heck it's not stopping so so fast, zack, 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 because um, they, they think they must be very fast now before people are waking up. That's why there is so much drama going on. It's like, oh gosh, what's happening next? We have the tomato virus, then we have the monkeypox, then we have the sea thing, then China and Taiwan, then Russia and Ukraine, and oh gosh, what else? <laughs> it is talk, talk, talk. So much is coming together and this can't work. This, this is definitely not working for the people, yeah? Um, and they do it because the only way, what I feel about them, I, I just tune into their timelines now, that you maybe understand why people behave this way. Why? Because they try to catch them before they wake up, that they can install their fake golden age. And their plan was to install a fake golden age with the Galactic Federation of Light, that they will appear, that they will come down to Earth, Ashtashiren, right? That they will come down and these are our saviors, finally, to install their paradigm. And their plan was to control people for 100%, 100%. Everyone there had a cell phone, a hat, visions there. Just young people were walking around there. Just young people, they actually are not after the old people. Even when it looks so, yeah, they want to, yeah, control the old people, no. They try to control us. Yeah, people which are my age or younger, the children, they are after us. They try to prepare us for the Antichrist program, us. And then I asked them, as we stayed in 4D, why are they doing this? Then they told me the old people are useless. They are useless, they can die. That's what they told me. And we prepared a young generation for a new paradise. Do you like our paradise? And I tell you, really, in this vision I saw, almost every old person was dead. Just young people. In my age, in your age, maybe 20, 18, not older. And they all had a cell phone. Everyone had a cell phone. But it was an other level. The AI and the Antichrist program, right? 
they controlled them for 100%. They had no own thoughts anymore. And I mean, you see it a little bit right now, right? That you think, what's going on with the people? It's like they are controlled by a other source. What the heck is going on? These are the frequencies they use. Yeah, these frequencies, it's a other level now. Yeah, and when you are not centered in your heart, then you are confused because they they try to uh, manipulate people from yeah behind. The people have no clue that these thoughts they have is even not their own thoughts. Yeah, and that's what I saw last year in 4D, that this was their plan for 100%. That young people, especially young people, um, join the AI, enter, enter this um, new paradigm, and they have no own thoughts. And when the cell phones told them, hate these people, then these people started to hate them. And they have no clue why. Why do they hate them now? Because they, I told them so to hate them. That's what I saw. That is the next level. And this is their talk timeline. And I feel they try to do it as fast as they can now. Because we are very close now that people see through this. Yeah. But I see, yeah, that's the reason why we are here. We would never say yes to all this when we knew this will come. I mean, come on. <laughs> this timeline is so dark and so dense. I cried. It's like, holy shit. They are after a young generation, after the young people. Now I understand. Oh my gosh. And this, the soup, you know, the pokey poke, is just preparation. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy. <laughs> That's what I saw and I cried. It's like, this is the future for us. No, this can't be right. No, this, this can't be our future. Why? They told me because humans are useless. It's a lower species. So, and when they don't do what they wanted, they will kill them. Okay? That's why they behave on this level, because they didn't realize that they are already free. These are the good news. They are all free. They are all free. Even the reincarnation program is dissolving. It's not true. They all can go back home. But what they try is, all the people, yeah, which are staying here on Earth, they try to um, unite them with the AI. It's like we were in an AI matrix already. We are in an AI matrix already. And then we have a new AI matrix. It's like we have an AI in an AI matrix. And actually the gates home, yeah, to 5D Tower Earth and to Source, they are open. And before we had this cube here, here there was a cube, it was almost impossible to go through this. And we all saw just the astral, <laughs> not higher. And this cube is collapsing now, and that's why the gate is open to Source. We can go back home. That's the big event. <laughs> the big event is already happening. So, and as mentioned, that's what, just what I feel before people are finally waking up, they try to unite them with this technology, the people become one with the AI. It's like we are in an AI matrix and then in a new AI matrix, the people are staying in a cube for 100% and it's like they almost can't get out anymore. It's like they are living in a new universe, but not on earth anymore. Yeah, this is what I saw. But I saw the reason why we starseeds are here or why so many of you are here. I mean, every starseed has a other mission. You must know why you are here. We are here just to be an inspiration. We are just here to inspire people. We are just here to share our ancient knowledge with the people. And we are just here to anchor our frequency and our grids on Earth. It's all about grid work. And just about using codes and numbers and messages. That's it. And this is how we work as well in higher dimensions. With codes, with cubes, with um, sacred geometry. Yeah, This is what we do in higher dimensions as well. And so many of you are just here to anchor these grids on Earth during this time. Because this is what's taking place. And that's what I see. And because so many of us are here... 
then you know what's happening. These are very outdated and very heavy timelines. This is super dark. As mentioned, I cried. But as more as you believe this time will come, this era will come, as more you tune into these timelines. That's why the attack are starseed so much, because we are very um, powerful grid workers. And they just try to use us to um, create their grids. That they have more energy here. That's all about. And the easiest way is your heart. I can repeat myself. See through the eyes of a child and see how many of us are here now. So many new starseed babies are coming down. Maybe you saw them as well. They're cosmic big eyes. They have so amazing gifts and talents to share. I mean, why they are incarnating now when this era will come for real, you know? <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't think so. Or what's your thought? <laughs> Do you really think this will come? <laughs> I don't think so, okay? And I think um, that's the reason why we were there. I don't know. And I just can say there is so much more going on behind the scenes. But I just want to remind you, don't wait for a savior to come because the new consciousness or the ancient consciousness is that you finally reclaim your power. That you see, hey, I'm responsible for myself. I trust my intuition. I train my psychic abilities. I know who am I. And that's why we have so much time right now because you see there is a lot going on right now. Okay, and all these timelines a healing and dissolving, healing and purging, and now the sun codes from the divine matrix are coming down. And imagine as more the sunlight is getting brighter, as more see that the old cube, yeah, it was a cube, is crumbling. Okay, so that's why you feel these attacks, because they know something else will come, and imagine all the people are free now without even know they were slaves. That's what I saw last year. It's like, oh, wow, see, the people are finally free. It's just their programs which are running and they believe we are in the old times, like in Egypt, you know, the old epochs of time. But actually they are all free. They were slaves and they had no clue that they were slaves and nothing is changing for them. <laughs> <laughs> so even when they, the, the soul is leaving the body, now they can go back home and they even had no clue that they incarnated over and over again. <laughs> and then I was laughing. So, wow, that's a funny game. <laughs> so, and it's just about free will. Your free will. You have free will in higher dimensions. And they had no free will here. Free will is you make your own choices. Do you want to incarnate on this planet or not? These are true teachings. It was always your choice. But when you were trapped here in the reincarnation program, then you had no free will. But they let people believe they had free will. But they had not. <laughs> That's what I saw. And because you as a starseed, you came from higher dimensions down to earth. You were always more free. And that's why you always saw through this more and you were free, more free, even when your life was very exhausting and, and horrible or you know what I'm talking about. So many of us suffered so much, so horrible, but at the end you were always more free because you were not bound on this uh, cube matrix here. You were always in contact with your lovely sisters and brothers, even when it was not so easy to remember for you or to reconnect to them, you were more free. And the other stuff, that's what I want to tell you as well, why you were always more free, even when it looked like, oh my gosh, you are not free, your life is horrible. Because during your sleep, imagine the movie Avatar, right? I think almost every one of you knows the movie Avatar. I mean, it's very true. <laughs> there are many insights. Your true body, your true galactic self is still somewhere else. And many starseeds of you, you live in a ship, for example. 
and you use technology just to come down into this matrix, but your real self is still in the ships. And then you sleep in the ships and then you live here. And when this body sleeps, you go back. And you are fully protected by your team. Because I saw, that's just what I saw, that imagine we had this cube here, right? This is the Earth Matrix, the old Earth Matrix, and this is the cube, which is crumbling. This was the Empire by the Dark Exoterrestrials, and they all were here, yeah, above Earth, and they controlled Earth from above, below, to the people. So this is uh, the cage, and you as a star sea, you were here, for example, or you were here, higher. So it's like in your ships, we're here, they are here. So when you incarnated on Earth, your real body is still here, but then suck, you incarnate down into the Earth matrix. That's why they saw you, because they saw, oh, you come from a higher dimension. And they saw your frequency, they saw your light. Yeah, maybe they tried to stop you, because they know who you are. And they knew when you have a body here, you know, on Earth, then they knew that's the only way to attack you, because actually you are still here. <laughs> yeah, so I hope so much this helps you, and that you see it's for real just a game. It's a game. So, and when you finally understand, even AI is not evil per se. The dark ones just want always that you think in extreme sides. Oh, everything is just evil or everything is just love and light, you know? <laughs> everything is just evil or everything is just good. What's about to find balance? What's about to see the intent and what if we are the technology? Because this is what I know from the Octurians, <laughs> they are the technology. So this means they imagine everything with the third eye, everything, and then they create a ship through manifestation, and then tuck, it's here. What if we are the technology that we embody all these codes already? <laughs> so this means technology is not evil per se, it's just about your intent again. It's always about your intent. It's always about your heart. It's always about how you use money. It's always about how you use your cell phones. <laughs> how do you use TikTok? <laughs> it's always you. It's your intent and this makes you beautiful. And this is the message I get for September. You will see there is a lot of healing and purging going on. And I feel this, this year will be crazy what I feel in the collective. I don't know what will happen. I don't know if this will come true, what I saw in May 2020, that many Germans will go out of the streets. I have no clue if this will happen. And finally, they destroy markets and cars. I don't know. But that's what I saw. But actually, I saw a lockdown for Germany again. I have no clue. But I feel this year will be important because finally, yeah, they make a decision now how to continue do we choose lighter timelines this time or very dark timelines <laughs> and all what you can do is observe it as best as you can be independent as best as you can have your own garden i think that's never wrong <laughs> to harvest your own fruits and your own vegetables and maybe you join a community that's what i feel many times actually we start it we must unite because I see it will be going crazy soon. And it's getting more crazy, especially when you live in big cities. I feel it's getting very crazy. And you see how many citizens are changing right now because of these frequencies, because they don't know at the moment. They are not aware of what's happening with these frequencies. And, you know, I don't want to speak too much about this, you know, but maybe you know what I'm talking about with all this G stuff and so on. Hmm? So, and I just can say, always trust your heart, trust your intuition, and then you are guided, you know what to do. And when you see it from this perspective that your true self, your cosmic self is still in a ship, you know, or you are still located on your home planet in higher dimensions. So it's like you, you are more free. <laughs> so let's see if I see some comments here. Thank you so much. You are also amazing. Do you have any questions how to embody your higher self? Maybe. I mean, I spoke a lot now, but I think the easiest tool is uh, stay centered in your heart. Yeah. 
stay centered in your heart, um, do what your heart tells you, then you embody your higher self. Yeah, Hare Krishna. <laughs> I don't say a lot about this because I saw a lot in 4D, even about the Indian gods. <laughs> I don't say a lot about this. Yeah, choose light. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah, thank you so much. You are so amazing. Yes, of course. And see both sides. You know how to break free. Don't take any pills. Don't take the blue pill. Don't take the red pill because it's all AI. <laughs> it's all illusion. <laughs> Even the Matrix movies, they share with us many truths. Yeah, because 4D vibrated similar to Matrix movies. Yeah, even Agent Smith, they were also there, these agents. And that was more similar, like, like uh, the Matrix movies. Um, but it's not true for 100% what I saw. The red pill is not the way out. It's not. It's the second illusion. Yeah, that's the real cube, if you want. And it's the astral. Red pill, the red pill matrix grasp the astral. And this is the false light trap. Now, yeah, all these entities like the Galactic Federation of Light, Ashtashir, and they were all working with this matrix most um, to confuse and catch us as well as we, you know, because when we finally remember and when we see, yeah, actually, um, I want to go back home. I want to talk to my friends. As mentioned, they had to be creative and then they sent us these holograms immediately. No, yeah. and that was the cube we had here. That's why so many are confused as well, because there is a lot of feeling and purging going on, even with um, your galactic team. And maybe you always believe this is your family, but actually these were just blue beam holograms <laughs> created by the um, dark ETs to confuse us. So this means the Matrix movies, I think, is a very good example when you want to understand 4D, because... It was almost the same energy there. But the red pill is not the way out. That's why I laughed a little bit about the comment Hare Krishna. <laughs> because that's the second illusion. So maybe I can do um, a live about it as well. Um, to share with you what I saw. We are sovereign. Yes, of course. Of course. The easiest way is always trust your heart. See that really everything is just guided. So when you have the tendency to have future visions, so then you know what I'm talking about. So many times I had visions of the future or I had lucid dreams of the future. And then two months later, it happened in the exact same way. And then you have this deja vu. So, oh my gosh. So uh, I had a dream about this, that this will happen. <laughs> so this means your soul always guides you, even when you don't understand it. <laughs> so, and that's, that's the power of your soul. That's the power of source, right? And trust this. And when you have the impulse to join communities, do it. Because I feel actually we must unite now with star seats. Yeah. Thank you so, so much. I see there is a question. One second. When do you think the 5D or the new Earth will be birthed? It's already happening. It's already happening. Um, I see it's uh, ascension from within. It doesn't mean, maybe, I don't know which technology we will have in future. I have no clue. Maybe we can teleport up to 5D Tower Earth. But actually 5D Tower Earth is for real a other dimension. And it's like it's a higher version of this Earth we are in now. And Earth exists in almost every dimension, what I saw. Earth exists in 5D, 60D, 70D, 80D, 90D, 10D. It goes very light. And this is all Earth. And all our cosmic sisters and brothers, that's what I saw, they are already here on Earth. But they just live in 5D, 60D, 70D, 80D, 90D, 10D. And they are all on Earth with us. And they all see us, but we can see them. <laughs> so I just want to say it's already happening that these codes from 5D Tower Earth are coming down. And I feel at first the ascension happens from within first, that finally we are able to create 5D here on Earth. It doesn't make sense to wait. Yeah, it's more about to reclaim your power, that you're taking back your sovereignty, that you see from your heart you create new earth. Okay, so I don't know if this makes any sense. 
Let's see if I see some new questions. Ah, much love to you. <laughs> Christine is also in the house. Hi. <laughs> yes, of course, Christine. We are birthing the new earth by creating with love. Yes, of course. I speak about true love. Yeah, not, <laughs> you know, love and light. <laughs> and actually you feel angry. <laughs> Then you must express anger first. <laughs> <laughs> finally to feel true love okay thank you so much for listening it was much fun talking to you thank you for all the people which sent me donations or some heart icons <laughs> tiktok is very fun and yeah let's see what's coming very soon pre-prepared it can be very chaotic soon don't be surprised <laughs> What will happen with the collective? I hope it will not be becoming so horrible what I saw because then it's getting very chaotic and then I think it's better for you to stay in villages. I feel villages are more safe as to say in big, 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 big cities. Just my feeling. And then I think it depends on which country, which country you are. I feel there are some countries that are very protected. They are very safe because many people are waking up or they are already woke but there are some countries like Germany and they sleep <laughs> very strongly here and Austria as well and I feel pff, yeah when the people see through this I think they will be very angry here and I saw that Germany is important it's very important Germany holds a very important key for the awakening what I saw you know you see our story all this what happened here you know with the second world war all this other stuff, you know. Okay, thank you very much and take care. And yeah, see you soon again. You